Learn some of the nuances that affect your railroad retirement as a married couple. Welcome everyone to another edition of the Highball Advisors Railroad Retirement Whiteboard. My name is John McNamara of Highball Advisors and today we're just going to talk about some of the intricacies and complexities, I guess, of uh, claiming railroad retirement when it really comes to married couples, all right? There's it's just a lot of weird little things in there that uh, I thought I'd just bring to the surface here. Um, you know, I'm sure there's probably a few others, but these are seven that I came up with. So I'll just walk through them and then you can think about them as, you know, you start to get ready to claim your railroad retirement. So the first one is retroactive payments could boost survivor and spouse payments. So when it, this is on the tier one portion of, uh, of the spousal annuity or a survivor annuity. So let's say if the, uh, if the spouse is still working uh, at full retirement age, then they've gone a month, two months, maybe a year past their full retirement age, is when you claim your spousal portion of the uh, railroad retirement, go back six months and get the uh, retroactive payment because there's no delayed retirement credit. So even if you're one month over your full retirement age, just go back six months and say, hey, I want, it, I want to start my annuity six months previous, and they'll give you that lump sum for six months because that's, there's no delayed retirement credit. Same thing for the survivor annuity also. All right, so something to think about there. Uh, number two, spouse benefits are often higher than anticipated, right? Which is true. Um, so especially on those spouses that maybe they've stayed home, they don't have a lot of income, they you know raise kids, those type of things didn't work. You know they're not expecting anything, but at the end of the day, it's it's very good. It's 50% of tier one and 45% of tier two. So a lot of people don't realize how big those uh, spousal annuities are, and even on the survivor side, they're very uh, they're very good. Also, you know the full tier one and tier two of the deceased railroader. They're very, very uh, good. Number three, survivor benefits can be claimed earlier than 62. That's, that's true, right? So uh, if you have no dependents in the household, you can start your survivor benefits at uh, 60, all right? And if you have uh, uh, children under, I believe, uh, under 19 or 18, uh, you can start earlier than that. And if you have a disabled child, uh, you can start earlier than that. So that's something very, uh, you know, those survivor benefits, very, very important bridge. So that's something to think about. You don't have to wait till 62 on that. Uh, number four, uh, a new marriage can affect your survivor benefits, right? So uh, if you're divorced, right, and, uh, 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 you know, and you're looking to get remarried, so currently your survivor annuity is based on uh, your deceased spouse, but if you get remarried, that's going to go away all right, so that's going to affect that uh, survivor uh, annuity. So something to think about that. Uh, just do the math on it, uh, on what that cost is on, on that marriage. So number five, the earning test complications come into play. Well, that's, uh, that's definitely true, on, uh, uh, especially uh, uh, when you start claiming, right? You claim your, uh, uh, let's say, spousal annuity, okay? Uh, right, because they've retired. And you're, uh, so what you're going to have is if you continue working, right, you're going to have reductions. You're going to have work reductions on your tier one. You're going to have tier two work deductions also. So that's that earnings test uh, portion of that. Just because you're collecting the, uh, uh, the annuity, especially on the spousal side, the spousal annuity, there's going to be work deductions uh, based on your earnings. So that's very important. Really got to understand those earnings tests. Uh, going back to survivor benefits, number six, survivor benefits have uh, uh, claiming complexities. That's, uh, that's for sure. So there's a lot of different strategies there uh, if you're going to claim off a survivor because you could do something where, hey, maybe I'll claim my survivor benefit early, right? We said early as 62, and maybe you went back to work or, uh, and you've built up uh, a nice, uh, your own Social Security or railroad retirement benefit or probably in this case, if you're not working for the railroad, it would be Social Security. Um, and then what you can do is claim your survivor benefit, right, to start that early, let your own uh, Social Security grow, and then claim that at 70, switch out of the uh, Tier 1 portion of this survivor annuity, you still get the Tier 2 portion. So there's a lot of playing off there. Hey, let's start one, we'll let the other one grow. Uh, 
So that's something to think about on the survivor benefit. So that's like another quirk there. And then the last one I came up with is divorcees can claim benefits based on the uh, ex-spouse earnings, right? So that's that divorce spousal annuity, right? Marry, if you're married 10 years, that's, uh, you can still get the, uh, your annuity is going to be based on. That's just the tier one portion on the t uh, spousal annuity. It's going to be based on your, your ex's uh, uh, tier one portion, right? It's going to be equal to 50% of what the um, uh, the railroad is receiving. Uh, so that's something to think about also, right? So these are just seven little quirks. And, that, you know, like I said, there's probably many more. But, you know, it's once again, it's the complexity behind it. Claiming the right strategy, very, very important. So um, I, hope, I hope this is helpful. Maybe it triggered a few things. Reach out to me if you're at or near railroad retirement, want to go through some of these claiming strategies, very important stuff. Work with this stuff with all my clients. Um, share this video, please, especially those with or at or near retirement because, you know, you really only get one shot at claiming. You want to do it right. Um, click on the notification bell to get to my latest video. Until next time, everyone, please stay safe, stay on track, and take care. So long, everybody. Bye.